Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5, and today we're going to be talking about some leaks. So, these could be true, they could be false, they seem pretty reliable from just the way it's written out. But before this video starts, I just want to mention that it could be true or false, so take it as you will, but let's go over the information. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. So, this was released via Reddit, but we're going to be breaking this down just in case it is true. So there is a list of stuff, and so, here we go. So. The first bit says, Cicada is the first metahuman, an immortal cult leader with healing abilities who can neutralize other metas powers and control people's minds. He is determined to purge the world of metas and turn Central City against the Flash. Cicada targets people who were touched by the Flash, leading to the return of characters like Jay Garrick, Linda Park, Tina McGee, General Wade Eiling, Weather Wizards, Mirror Master, Top, and Grodd. So that is the first part. Let's break this part down before we move on to the next bit. So it reveals that Cicada is supposedly the first metahuman, I'm guessing in time, because we know he's immortal, so supposedly he gets his powers a long time before the Particle Accelerator, and it reveals part of his story of what could be coming if this is true. It seems to me to be a very, very first part of the season type villain, due to the fact with this being so familiar because the idea that he has abilities that can neutralize other metas powers and control people's minds is very similar to the thinker and it just seems like his motivations are a bit bare compared to the motivations of everyone else in the past and it sounds awesome that we could get characters like Jay Garrick, Linda Park, Teen McGee, General Wade Eiling, Weather Wizard, Mirror Master, Top and Grodd also back because they are some really good characters especially I want to personally see Linda Tina and also probably Weather Wizard back. Those would be my top picks as to who to bring back, obviously along with Jay Garrick. So that is just a little bit to do with Cicada. So now moving on to the next bit. So this is the big stuff. Nora is called Rewind. So that reveals supposedly that's her superhero name and comes from the future where Barry's disappearance in the crisis led to a war between humans and metas, which she hopes to prevent. She is chased by a time traveling bounty hunter known as Pursuit, who turns out to be her estranged brother and Barry's son. So wow, if this is true, this is crazy and it's more along the lines of what I thought was actually going to come because we knew that she has a reason to come back, and this reason is very reasonable due to the fact that we've been teased of this crisis storyline, and we know on Legends of Tomorrow, Zari, in the future where she's from, which is a few years past where Nora Allen actually came back from, so 30 years in the future or so, and in that timeline, the future actually outlawed metas, and it's just humans, and metas have to hide. So if this is true, that lines up with that, and also introducing the idea of Nora's brother being called Pursuit, I'm guessing that would be a homage to Hot Pursuit, which is Patty Spivitt in the comics, and so it makes a lot of sense that she has been chased by someone, and that is part of her big mistake because she has time traveled, she has changed stuff in the past, and like we've seen with Black Flash in the past, there's always someone out to hunt you, but it seems like Pursuit is actually a bounty hunter, and then if it is actually revealed to be the brother, I'm guessing they may call him Don Allen because they may be doing a twist on the Tornado Twins. So it also supposedly says Nora is called Rewind. So Rewind is obviously a reference to time travel because, you know, Rewind, you know, go back in time, or just in general, rewinding anything is just going back, so that's just a reference to the time travel aspect of her story, and so I'm guessing maybe Cisco in the future gives her that nickname due to the fact that she's time traveled and maybe that's just the nickname that they're gonna give her. But that's really interesting, and I do actually think this could happen, it's very viable. But there is essentially a few more lines of information, but I think I might skip out on some of them to do in another video. But let's move on to the next thing. So the new villains include Doctor Destiny, Blockbuster, Brainwave, Copperhead, Damage, Jin, Ragdoll, and Shadow Thief, among others. So that is crazy. There's a whole load of new metahumans from the comics. Obviously, you probably don't know every one of them. My favorite out of those from the comics is actually Shadow Thief. He is a super villain, and if you guys haven't seen the Justice League animated series, you should definitely check it out if he actually turns out to come. He is the enemy of Hawkman, 
and he is able to actually be a shadow. That is his superpower. He can physically be a shadow. Could be really awesome if we get a shadow version of the Flash. I think that would be really great if they could twist it from being a Hawkman character to a Flash character who actually takes over Barry's shadow and stalks him around Central City when he's doing stuff. And I think that would be a really good storyline to go down. And so it also reveals that Eobard Thorne will return for a multi-episode arc centred around Barry's children in the second half of the season, played by Tom Kavanagh and Matt Lesher. So again, I have no idea if this is true or false, but if this is true, we are expecting Reverse Slash to return due to what happened in the crossover and how he left. And if this is centered around Barry's children, I'm guessing it's going to be a time travel heavy storyline due to the fact that maybe Reverse Flash has actually fought the future versions of Barry's children in the future. And with it saying Barry's children, maybe by this point, Pursuit, who is in fact supposedly going to be the son of Barry and the brother of Nora, maybe they've actually made up and maybe they're actually working together as a new version of the tornado twin so that is my breakdown on most of the stuff i will be going over some of the caitlin stuff maybe in the next few days i just don't want to cram it all into one video so thank you guys so much for watching like i've been reiterating throughout the entire video i have no idea if this is true or not so anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys later goodbye it